Vamos aqui reagir. I tested ridiculous product claims. Ou seja, é reagir a cenas que os advertising, os anúncios, dizem que o produto faz uma cena maluca que a gente meio que não acredita. Vamos embora. Flextape claims that their product yeah, makes it possible to cut a bow in half Toda a gente conhece isto, mano. Together using their tape. The inside is completely dry. Quanto mais não seja has, pelos anúncios do a foder com tudo. I think he's capping. So I took matters into my own hands and decided to test the claim for myself. Se isso tem flores. Oh, man, aí também é maluco, bro. And that's just one of many ridiculous product claims that I'll be testing. Because I want to know, are you being lied to this company? O gajo que escolheu isto foi eu, mano. Muita ganda própria, sim senhor. This company here called Mouse has a lot of adult recruitment. Não, aí não, aí não, aí não estamos a querer, mano. Não és o Mr. Beast, não vamos deixar aqui. Oh, my God. And it will not snap. Uh, they'll run this thing over. Uh, What? Não, espera aí. Isto aqui não é um anúncio. Ok, isto não é um anúncio. Isto é ele a tentar arrebentar o telemóvel. Eles estão tão confiantes no seu produto aqui que eles acreditam que este caso vai permitir os telefones de sobreviver a uma caída de 45 metros. Agora, nas suas anúncios, esta companhia mostra que eles estão tirando telefones em literalmente todo o modo possível. Ok. E a cada vez que eles se encontram, eles se encontram perfeitamente bem. Se vocês não podem ver, estamos atualmente em uma garagem de parking com uma caída de 45 metros. E nós fizemos uma medida para medir. Então vamos testar o seu claim aqui e ver se esta companhia está capando. E eu vou fazer isso com o meu personal iPhone 15 Pro. Um bocado de lei. Um bocado de lei. Só para ver se funciona, né? Se não funcionar, também é reventa o meu iPhone e todas as merdas que tenho lá dentro. Ficam difíceis de recuperar, né? Eu não vou mentir, o look do mouse é nada muito especial. E esse pequeno blue stuff no interior é o que eles acham que é a tecnologia revolucionária. Mas eu não acredito que isso. Então, vamos testar. Eu não posso gastar mais tempo. Assim como eu não vou fazer isso, vamos dropping. Alright, guys, here we go. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Tchau, câmeras. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, alright, I'm coming down. Dude, that did not sound good. Please be okay. Please be okay. Moment of truth. Mm. Minute two nine. Oh my god. Bro, what? Oh. Okay. Pessoal, uma sorte do caralho, ou não? Se calhar teve uma sorte do caralho. Aquilo fez um barulho assim um bocado grande. Se calhar aquilo bateu da melhor maneira. Se for assim, mano, queremos todos, não é? Introducing the infamous Flight Skateboard Deck. Apparently, this thing is the most indestructible skateboard on the planet. They claim that you can run this thing over with any car, and it will not... Pois, se calhar, não é, mal? A parte por fora, a carcaça fica boa, mas lá dentro, não é? Há de haver merdas que mexeu ali, tem de ter mexido. Digo eu, não sei, se calhar é a minha melhor merda do mundo e a gente é que está a dormir. É possível. Franzi, estamos aqui a ver um videozinho aqui de malta que estão a testar produtos ridículos, que dizem que fazem cenas ridículas e até agora, olha o primeiro, aparentemente faz. Dá para tirar-se o telemóvel do quarto andar e está tudo bem, o telemóvel está novo. E ao frente eles têm um Cybertruck. Estou pensando que não há melhor carro para levar isso tudo com do que um Cybertruck. Então eu vou apenas andar para a porta de trás e perguntar se eles vão levar isso tudo. Ok, espero que eles digam sim. Tudo bem. Ele sabe quem é que mora aí. Um, this is like a really random request, but uh, I have this like indestructible skateboard. I was wondering if you'd be down to run it over with that fiber kick. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I'm right. to run it over. Like in the middle part? In the middle, yeah. Do you think it's going to survive? I, I don't know. The truck is about 2,000 pounds. Wow. Let's see if it is to ride a truck. Yeah, this guy's <laughs> awesome, bro. I love it. But first, let's test just a regular skateboard. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Three. Two, one. Must this other thing? Oh, that's no. not clear enough. Now let's do the flight deck. All right, here we go. Will it survive? Three, two, one. Man, you threw it in the water. Man, the car is stuck on top of the skate, man. Oh my god. Man, this is ridiculous. Look at this thing. It's the best skate in the world. Are you surprised? I'm shocked. Thanks again. So, it's the best skate in the world, man. I guess uh, they're not. Jesus, bro. Isto é o melhor skate. Malta que anda de skate tem de comprar uma merda destas. Nunca mais acaba, né? Oh! Não, 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 não é. Now let's do the flight deck. Não é, não é, não é. É igual, mano. Eu acho que não, mano. Eu tô um gajo para pôr, mano. All right, here we go. Will it survive? Three, two, one. Wow! That's not clear enough. Look at this thing. É impressionante aqui nesta altura. O carro está em cima, mano. Aqui, aqui. 
Aqui para mim é que é impressionante, mano. É que está em cima mesmo tipo da estrutura da cena. Estas rodas de trás estão a levar com o peso todo. Não é todo, não é? Porque está um eixo à frente, mas está lá com grande parte do peso do carro, mano. E está ali. Nem ali com o tempo partiu, mano. Oh my god! Look at this thing. There's like one scratch on it. Are you surprised? I'm shocked. Okay. Thanks again, man. I appreciate it. I guess uh, the knock happened. Next up, the gyro bowl. The claim, it's unspillable. Now I've seen these ads all over my TikTok of babies using and abusing this bowl and not a single drop of liquid can seem to spill mm. out of this thing. I was thinking of ways to potentially test this bowl and ultimately I landed on one specific way. Drift. <laughs> What's the point of the line sound? Oh, but that guy, but get the video, see senior bot Charlie. Got the milk. Got the gyro bowl. Let's see if this thing spills. Man, claro que vai dar merda, bro. Oh, I've never done this before. Oh my god! 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 Já estava a andar aí de ladeira e aquilo estava a descer logo. Ah, não é nessa parte. Ó. Oh. Aquilo depois quando o gajo endireita a mesma direção, aqui é complicado, não é? Sim, mano, não é suposto para andares a fazer drift dentro de um carro a comer leite com cereais, não é? I mean, it kind of spilled. On to the next product. Go, 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 go. Introducing Clocky. The alarm clock that claims to wake up the heaviest of sleepers. Our victim, my friend Justin. We're outside his house, and I say we go see if this thing can wake him up. Okay. It's currently 9 a.m. What time does Justin usually wake up? Like 12. What? Is Justin a deep sleeper? No, he's the deepest sleeper I've ever seen. All right, that, all right. So we set a five hey, minute timer better, on man. our clocky, and Caden sneakily set it Pai, up on Justin's bedside without even. Even mas com com alarma acorda sempre, mano. É mesmo muito raro. É preciso um gajo estar caputado para não acordar com 150 mil alarmes, não é? Mas há gente que é igual, mano. Tipo, 150 mil alarmes e caguei e estou a dormir. Tu és assim, Malan? Mano, como assim? Mete o telemóvel ao teu lado, mano. Volume no máximo, um alarme, passado 5 minutos, outro alarme e outro alarme, mano, é impossível não acordar, mano. Mano, é impossível, bro, é impossível, a malan. Então pronto, olha, isto é bom para ti. Se funcionar, já está aí, ó. Adiciona já aí o carrinho da Amazon. Se funcionar, manda já vir esta merda. É que tem rodas assim, é só para a pausa ou aquilo. And it didn't take long to find out. This excruciating sound went on for about 10 whole minutes before ultimately he woke up. Olha, funciona, Malas! Mano, som digital, aquele som de programador, ao caralho, mano. Esse produto é realmente muito preocupante. Estes são os produtos mais fortes de sal. Supostamente, estas coisas te dão uma crise de adrenalina. E eles dizem que fazem fazer peso mais pesado. Eu vi vários clipes de Calvin's clips no podcast do Joe Rogan. E ele faz os convidados tentar eles. O que? Eles fazem isso antes de se levar. Você está bem? E as suas reações são terríveis. Eu vou tentar entender o que o meu peso máximo é. E depois eu vou usar eles. E eles devem ter um peso de adrenalina. Eu vou me levar para o meu peso máximo. Sim, desculpe-me. I'm trying to find my max bench. I don't really go to the gym very often. Do you think you could spot me? Are uh, you ready? Yeah. Ugh. One, two, three. Come on. Oh. That was three reps of 135 pounds. So I'm gonna try the smelling salts. Ready? So scared. And then I'm gonna see if I can get more than three reps. <laughs> you ready? One, two. Okay, thank you. Come on, don't make a guess to They definitely didn't help me lift, but oh my god, I am I'm up, dude. Next up is a product that could single-handedly change the way you live them, eh? forever. Introducing Nexus Pheromones. This cologne claims to help you instantly attract women. 
an oven. Sounds crazy. So man, we're gonna test it. Scene, Here bro. I have oh, two of my man. closest friends lined up. Nathan will be wearing the ten dollar cologne. Justin will be wearing the one hundred dollar designer. Tá bem, mano, mas não ia ser suficiente nunca ao Malan. Se pôr gajo depois de ter feito três, de dar um cheiro naquela merda e bê, 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 não ia, mano. Tipo, o gajo tinha de descansar o tempo normal e ver se aquela merda depois conseguia quatro, por exemplo. Mano. And we'll be wearing the Nexus pheromones. Now, just outside, I have six girls ready to smell each of these guys. The girls will decide which one they like the best, guys, and we'll tell America them our mundo. results and see. Will Nexus pheromones actually end up winning? Let's go get our girls. Okay, I'm gonna grab your hand. You're coming up on three men. Okay. And just lean in and give it a good whiff. You can take your time, by the way. You got it? Okay, all right. Number two here. And then, number three. You can whisper in my ear, which one's your favorite? Okay. okay. One by one, down. I had these girls smelling like their lives depended on it, making sure they were getting a really good whiff. Take your time, really, really get the aromas going. Now the Nexus pheromone should be the winner by the end of this experiment because on their website, they make some pretty huge claims, such as their proven benefits. They say it'll attract women effortlessly, develop instant chemistry, and even make you have more s And that's not oh, even including this. the so-called 12 years of scientific research to prove it's true. And they have diagrams to prove it. No cologne needs multiple diagrams, bro. And on top of it all, they've been featured on almost every major news outlet. After a whole lot of sniffing and tallying up the girls' votes, we finally phenomenal. came to our consensus. Here we go. The $10 cologne got one vote. Okay. The... $100 designer cologne got five votes, Pronto, which means Nexus Pheromones got literally zero votes. <laughs> so, uh, Let's go! Yeah, Não funciona bom caralho, certo? Uh, it's, it's a scam. Did any of you Fica guys consider picking number three at all? No. no. Really? <laughs> Guess we learned something today. Women are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Don't buy Nexus, it, it sucks. Behind me is the cheapest Airbnb in my area, and we're here to test the next product, a hidden camera detector. The claim, it detects hidden cameras. Hmm, that seems pretty obvious. So I'm gonna go in there and see if I can detect any hidden cameras the host may be using to peep on victims. Hey. Dude, this Airbnb is crazy. You basically just have to check every item because honestly, anything could be a hidden camera. So I started checking literally everything. For some reason, finding hidden cameras in Airbnbs is somewhat of a common problem for people. So I made sure to check every inch of this place. But honestly, we weren't finding anything. There's only one more place to check. The bathroom. Beeping on this thing. Is that a camera in there, dude? I'm not even kidding, dude. Dude, that looks like a camera. Do you see that? Oh, <gasps> dude, I think that's actually. Come on, feel guys come to the lab, bro. There's actually no way, bro. You just got pranked. Sir. Come on. This thing just kind of goes off whenever it wants. Uh, it, it doesn't actually work, and we placed the hidden camera there, so give it up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Stanley Cup bars. The claim, their cups can survive fire. So a while ago, this video went viral on the internet where this girl's car was engulfed in flames and the only thing that survived was her Stanley Cup. The president of Stanley himself saw her video and gifted her a brand new car. Thanks for sharing the video because wow, it really shows how Stanley, our Stanleys are built for life. Because what it went through with you, I couldn't think of a better example of our product's quality. Now people speculate Sir, the it's the the thing thing marketing não foi o melhor anúncio de sempre, pessoal. Então, a moça chegou fogo ao carro, ou o carro chegou fogo. Ardeu, o carro todo foi com caralho e ficou lá o Stanley Cup, mano. Melhor anúncio de sempre e de graça. De graça. Não foi de graça porque depois deu o carro, mas aquela merda teve 100 milhões de views, mano. Ou seja, mesmo a dar 20 ou 30 mil euros pelo carro, foi de graça o anúncio. Stunt for Stanley Cup. So today, I'm gonna put the rumors to rest. Let's see if this thing can survive a fire. Put it in there. Oh! 
Oh my gosh. So we let the Stanley Cup toast in this fire for about 10 minutes before finally taking it out to see the results. And while we wait for that to cool off, I'm gonna show you guys our next product. The fireproof document bag. The claim, it's 100% fireproof and keeps your documents safe. Now it's made by this company that goes by the name of Never Give Up. And with a name like that, I feel like I have to trust it, which is why I thought to test this, there was no better thing to put inside than my legal birth certificate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping this company isn't complete bogus or else I don't know if I legally have a name anymore. Let's test it. <laughs> And while we let that soak in the fire. All right, guys, Stanley Cup reveal. Three, two, one. Not bad. The handle, the lid, and the straw all melted off. But as far as the actual metal cup part goes, this thing's pretty much completely fine, except for the paint melting off. But in the video, the girl shows hers and nothing melts off of it, which is kind of sus. So no, this cup does not survive fires, but it came pretty close. Let's check the birth certificate. Tá bem, mas a gaja a cena ardeu à volta do copo. O homem meteu o copo dentro de uma fogueira, não é? É um bocado diferente, mano. O copo dentro de uma fogueira é wild. E mesmo assim, olha, para mim aquilo não era cap, era tipo, mano, sobreviveu, não é? Oh, dentro no. da fogueira. Dude, this thing is black. That's not looking promising, guys. Let's check it. Bro. Oh my god, dude. It survived. Wait, what the heck? Bro, that's not my name, bro. Bro, what? It says these nuts now, bro. It says these nuts on it. Well, uh, I'll guys, get yeah. The birth certificate wasn't real to <laughs> begin with <laughs> and it didn't survive, so yeah. Nah, that's a cap. This is the SyncWire underwater phone pouch. This company claims for just $16, you can have your very own underwater phone case that can be submerged up to 100 feet underwater. And to test it, my boy Jimmy took us deep out into the ocean where it was 100 feet deep. I got out the phone pouch, placed my phone inside, take out the Chinese instructions right there, and started realizing some really red flags. These latches don't even like click, so that's kind of concerning. Um, here we have a hundred feet of fishing line. I'm gonna throw this thing into the water and we're gonna bring it a hundred feet down. If their claim is legit, we should be able to pull it back up and this phone will survive. If you guys couldn't tell, this video is very expensive and honestly, we're kind of going broke. So all I ask is that you guys subscribe. We're trying to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. You guys literally make these videos possible. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Hey, and, yeah, homem. Let's throw this phone into the water. Let's get that content. Oh my gosh, dude. What did we do? We lowered the phone all the way down to 100 feet, which we made sure to perfectly measure. We put our faith in a $16 Amazon product. And we let the phone sit down there for about 15 minutes. It's time to bring this thing up and see if it survived. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh. Holy God, bro. Is it good? See if it's on, see if it's on. It works. 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 It Sync wire. You guys are goaded. Same matters. 100% as a kid, I always wanted to have superpowers, except I could never actually attain any. Well, today I think I found a product that might just make my dreams come true. These bad boys are victory insoles. Now these insoles claim to make you run faster. Apparently these have scientific backing and a lot of professionals actually use these. These were $150 and I'm calling bogus. So we're gonna test them. Now more specifically, these insoles claim to make you 0.12 seconds faster on your 40 yard dash. So first I timed my 40 yard dash dash without the insoles. That was 633. <sighs> then I threw in the victory insoles, which by the way, were like That's the stiffest much. insoles I've ever felt. I geared up for my run and it was go time. I'm not sure if it was placebo, but I actually felt a lot faster. Woo! I felt faster. And my final time with the victory insoles was 601. Oh, 
And that's actually more than the 0.12 seconds that they claim. So yeah, I mean, these are legit. For 150 bucks, you can have superpowers. Bro, since with the pause, bro, 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 bro. I'm here with my girlfriend, Erin. And we're at her house to test this dog toy that claims to be indestructible. Erin's dog is a menace. Yeah, he destroys every single toy, no matter how big or small it is. So we're gonna see if this toy can stand a chance against Rocky. This toy was not indestructible for Rocky. Good boy. I used to do this thing when I was younger. I would challenge my friends to see who could hold the breath of Rocky. And I would always do it. I think I found a product that could help me out just a little bit. This is the Lung Capacity Grower, and this product claims to help you hold your breath longer underwater. I jumped in the pool to first test how long I could hold my breath without the help of the Lung Capacity Grower. I stayed underwater for as long as possible before feeling like I was gonna pass out, and my final time was 56 seconds. Okay. So now to test the product. You're supposed to put it in your mouth and kind of just breathe through your mouth for 30 minutes with it in. It was like breathing through a tiny straw that would clog over and over. I did this for 30 minutes, which was actually kind of gnarly, but by the end, I was excited to see if it actually worked and to see if I could beat my previous time. Once again, I stayed underwater for as long as possible. Let's see if this product actually works and if I could hold my breath for longer. Eventually, I tapped out and came back up to the surface and my new time was... One minute and 18 seconds. Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's my lifetime record, I think. I'm surprised, but this product actually works. Next product, the world's saltiest chip. The claim, it's the saltiest chip in the world. Under the Amazon listing of this oh, product, there was a video show of an old man eating one of these. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, mother is Yeah, I'm um, a coisa que estás a respirar por uma palhinha, não é? Depois já estás habituado a conseguir sustentar mais e respirar menos, gastar menos oxigênio, eu diria eu. Let's get after it. Oh my god. It comes with gloves. On the packaging, it says if you want to win the challenge, you have to eat the whole chip. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. Oh, that looks like pain. Three, two, one. I swallowed it. That is without a doubt the world's saltiest chip. Have you ever been walking oh, and been like, this is way too slow? Sal, like you no? Shio eating iPad kids, so running is just a little bit too much work. Well, I have a solution sal. for you. Introducing Shift Robotics. The world's first AI powered walking. My local target about a nine minute walk. <laughs> away. If these things actually make me 30% faster, they could be a game changer. But first, I timed how long it would take to get to Target without the AI-powered shoes. Just so we could compare the times to see if it's truly 30% faster like they claim. And when I got to Target, my final time was... 8 minutes and 5 seconds. Man, now let's put on the shift the robotic shoes and see if it's 30% faster on the way back. So I put on these AI-powered shoes and began walking on my way back. These things were insane. I felt like I was half cyborg. Guys, we're in the future. The shoes move in a way where you feel like you're gliding. It's pretty sick. You're picking up some speed. I'll be honest, I wasn't super good at these because it was my first time wearing them, but I did feel noticeably faster. I arrived back at the exact spot where we first Six started minutes. and my final time was... Six minutes and 23 seconds. That is unfortunately not 30% faster. Although the product is really cool and it's probably due to user error, but to be fair, it got pretty dang close and I feel like in the right circumstances, this product could definitely work. Now this last one is a product I think we're all familiar with. Flex tape. The claim, you can saw a boat in half and put it back together. So this dude, Phil Swift, has been repping this company with his life for years now. For some reason, I just, I cannot trust him. That's why I've gathered the materials here today, and I'm gonna see if he's capping or facting. So with a saw, a boat, some flex tape, and a dream, we decided to start trying to cut this thing in half. We aren't the best with power tools, but I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of felt like a boss doing this. This was way harder than it looks, especially keeping the line straight, but with enough willpower, we got it in half. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That is a boat in half. Now it's time to tape it up. Hopefully flux tape will 
be able to keep this thing together. Now the taping process was tricky. It is so sticky, dude. This tape was like the strongest holding anything I've ever seen. Making sure it had a tight seal was a tedious process, but we did our absolute best. Three hours later, our boat is finished. You know, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I think it's going to be perfect funcionar. for the task. Now the only question is, tirar, so will this thing float? To find out, we loaded this thing into the car and know. made our way down to the bay. This thing was heavy, but eventually we got this bad boy on the dock. And that's when I met the homie, Keed. <laughs> You think it's gonna float? You should. I got faith in it. Yes, sir. With Keith's help, we got the boat on the water. It's floating, so I better jump on it as soon as possible because I don't want this thing to sink. But then we realized oh, there was a small resist. leak. A oh, salt dust per se. Right there. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, I gotta get on it. All right, ready? Get it. I'm gonna do it. Three, two, one. So yeah, the boat was actually working. You know, maybe I was too hard on Phil Swift. Honestly, I was having a blast. So much fun, in fact, Keed wanted to join in on the party. Let's go, Keed! I mean, what more could you want? Just two dudes chilling in a boat. This was incredible, awesome. bro. I mean, I was Boas. having so, so much fun. fun. The boat was working so perfectly. That was until... Oh, oh. Yeah, I think it's about time to come in. Oh, oh, oh. Que merda do caralho. Phil, I'm suing your ass. <laughs> Anda a ver,